First of all, all eyes are on us already. Big up to my Jamaican and my Caribbean family that's trying to make a living. <laughs> Big up to the people them that are intelligent. Intelligent enough to know that certain things when you do illegally, you are 110% guaranteed to spend some time in a United States prison or a British prison or a Canadian prison. You see you people who come in through now with your dark bottles and all these things. You're not disguising anything. Watch this. First of all, again, or second of all, don't take nothing from nobody. You know, you know we stay already. You go up tomorrow, carry a bottle of rum here, go get sister so and so for me. Don't do it no more. Okay? Cocaine could be made to look like clear as water. Rum. Especially our white rum look clear as water. Then we give you a bottle full of liquid cocaine and get you in a big trouble. Then you become a drug smuggler and you're going to have a hefty time trying to convince authorities overseas that you knew nothing about this. Anyway, this story right here. U.S. Customs agent nabbed Jamaican woman with cocaine at JFK. This is right after we just do our story yesterday about our next one and our next one. Here comes another one. So apparently, this is not going to stop anytime soon. Let me say something before I read this story. A lot of people are saying that it's the level of poverty in Jamaica that's causing people to do this. I beg to disagree. It's the level of greed and gluttony, licky licky and red eye. That's causing people to do this. Okay? Nobody there in Jamaica now suffer to the point where they are got dead from want of food and clothes and shelter. Alright. Not unless that's what they want to be doing anyways. And I dare anybody to talk about it in the comment section and tell me that I'm wrong and I could show you the avenues. So anyway, New York, United States Customs and border protection agency says arriving passenger from Jamaica at John F. Kennedy Airport in New York she did not enjoy a happy hour as officials seized her illegal cocktail in a report on Wednesday CBP said that on April 8th Stephisha <laughs> Stephisha Miller <laughs> I saw Stephisha Miller, a Jamaican, arrived at a flight on a flight from Kingston, Jamaica. I mean, name is Stephisha. Oh, I was so. CBP officers inspected a duty free box she was carrying that contained two bottles of Bailey Irish cream stuffed with plastic bags. The officers then escorted Miller to a private search room where the bottles were examined, revealing a bag of white powder that tested positive for cocaine. Watch this. Miller was arrested for the importation of a controlled substance and was turned over to the U.S. Homeland Security investigation. It said the weight of the cocaine seized was approximately 6 pounds of cocaine in a two Bailey's bottle with an estimated street value of 110,000 US dollars in a one go my girl says she's gonna make it worth it 110,000 this is street value in on a retail you know retail value could probably even triple this money this is street value as and by the way, if you don't know now, it's 2.2 pounds per kilo. And she moving with 6 pounds, roughly. So, see that? About 3 kilos of coke, roughly, she are moving, right? Or a little bit below 3 keys. The smuggling of illicit drugs poses a significant threat to our nation. And CBP does its part in keeping these drugs off our streets, says Francis J. Russo, acting director of CBP's New York field operations. 
As America's Unified Border Security Agency, our employees are determined to protect the public from these substances, he added. CBP said that Miller now faces U.S. federal narcotics smuggling charges and will be prosecuted by the U.S. Attorney's Office in the U.S. Eastern District Court of New York. Minnebawango <coughs> Arakas Island. Right over right, Kashagan. Let me tell you something. I keep telling you Jamaican people, right? Are you Caribbean people? When the things are life tough, which part of the death? Right? You feel like you're struggling and suffering so hard where you're at. Nothing beats your freedom. Not for we can go sit down on a beach somewhere. All when hunger box out your tribe them. You can still go pick a one jelly coconut, bust it open, drink some coconut water. You know, coconut water is expensive up here, the real one. Pick two aki, beg somebody at one breadfruit, take a kerosene pan, clean it out, boil some water, throw your little uh, breadfruit in there, link up with two broke bridges and run a boat. Something, go down on the beach, go dip. Lay down on the beach, listen to the waves. Read an aki tree somewhere down a bush. Nothing beats your freedom, man. I mean, I tell you, I, I was watching this documentary and the, the, the youth, he was 32, 32, prime of his life. And he gets locked up, right? And he's looking at 40-something years and he's 32. And the man I said, yo, in regret, sir, like, look at me now. I'm looking at more time in prison than the time I've been on earth. If these people lock me up, that's a life sentence. That's my whole life I'm going to spend in there. So, it must, they ask him where he missed. These are the two things he said he missed. He said he missed a hug from his mom because his mom was sick and he's not able to go. And they're saying that it looks like she's going to pass away and he, might not, he won't be able to make it to her funeral. Reality check. Next thing him said, him just miss waking up in the middle of the night. Or getting drunk at home and then wake up in the middle of the night, open the fridge, listen, open the fridge and just take out one piece of chicken and eat it cold. Nobody to tell you when to go to sleep, when to wake up, designate a spot for you to pee and poop. Nobody to regulate your whole life. Walk on this side of the hallway on this yellow line only. Nobody will run them hand up and down your ass cracks every day. Every time you get a visitor, you get a strip search. Bend over. Cough. Man, I fondle your balls from behind, so. Nothing is worth your freedom. But I guess greed, gluttony, will make people never stop doing this madness right here. In 2018, really though, do y'all know that they have stuff that can x ray people's house from space? Do you know that they have stuff at technology that can see through walls? And it may not be able to make out all your features, but it's able to make out radar hot bodies inside of a building. I could tell you if it's two, three, four, or ten people inside of this one room. From way up there, sir. What makes you think you're going to get away with two Bailey's bottle with six pound of cocaine in it? And her street value is $100,000, which means the Maga liquor hard, may I tell you. And when they do, the person that sent this to me, big up to that subscriber here, him say, she better start talking or else the Maga bury her. They're going to bury her. Not under this Trump administration. They have a point to prove. And you're going to be that proven point. You're going to be made an example of. Either that, or you better have some big name where you can roll over upon in order to get you some less time like Marsha um, Gay Reynolds. Right? And you already know. From your rollover, snitch, it's done for you. And your family will always be in jeopardy. Think about those things, man. Think about the things you're about to miss. Think about the things you're going to risk losing. 
and ask yourself, 110,000 US sound good. A lot of people don't have that and won't have that saved up in one place in their whole lifetime. Is it worth it though? This is SoFlo TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. Share with me if you know anybody that went down that route. Route did the whole smuggling thing, got caught, and what was the outcome of their story? Have you ever thought about it? Are you thinking about it now? After seeing these stories, are you still thinking about it? I'm out. Peace.